Hi YouTube, Tinfoil Hat Lady here. Here's my tinfoil hat. I'm not going to wear it today though because today I have a very special guest. His name is Trent Deerhorn and he's um, a very good friend of mine. He's actually a working shaman. That's me. That's him. <laughs> and we've done some workshops together on yeah, um, different shamanic kind of topics, but um, one of the first things I'm going to ask Trent for you today is to explain exactly what a modern shaman is and maybe just start with the concept of what is shamanism okay well shamanism is about the uh, connection the reconnection to the earth to spirit as well and it doesn't matter what you call the spirit you could call it all a god whatever but it's a reconnection and it helps a person to through that reconnection also reconnect to who they truly are within themselves and how they interact with all of nature around them and also then extending out toward all of the people around them. It helps um, to, to heal different ailments that we have because physically our ailments are, are very connected to emotional and spiritual aspects. And um, through that reconnection of what the actual issue is and the healing of that issue, then physical effects, mental effects, spiritual effects, it all heals. So for modern people, actually some of these things um, we're so disconnected yeah. in, in our life because we're all into materialism and, and going to work and having our heads in the TV or in the YouTube or <laughs> wherever we are so um, so it's kind of interesting that people are, are going back to kind of because when I think of shamanism 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 I think of an ancient thing it is I an think ancient of an thing. old thing it is an ancient thing and all of the modern practices of shamanism are based on the ancient teachings the thing is that um, it's put to use in a more modern way now. So where you used to have to travel, you know, thousands of miles and go into a jungle to find a shaman mm. to work with, now you can find them in the yellow pages. Ah! And, it's absolutely and they have great. blogs and stuff. <laughs> and they have blogs and stuff. I have a blog as well. So if you so want what to is the name of your website? Just in case. My my website, um, www.dearhornshamanic.com, and my blog site is uh, called Reflections. From the shaman's hut. So um, when you come to a shaman, sometimes maybe you don't even know what you want from right. from the shaman. You might just, you know, not be happy in your life, or you might be having some emotional issues, or you might be going through a trauma, like you might be going through a death, or a divorce, or a change in job, or something like that. And uh, you know, what kind of services do you offer? Do you just people just come to you, or do you do specific rituals, or what are some of the, you know, things that, that a shaman can do? So I guess it would kind of uh, parallel what a pastor could do for you, in a way. Kind of, except um, there, there's a lot of deeper soul work that gets done through shamanism. For example, um, anyone who's going through a transition, be it that um, they're going through, say, a divorce or a change in, in career or... They're suddenly becoming parents, things like that. Mm. Those are transitional moments in our lives. I didn't think about the parent thing. That's yeah, it's when you a have a one. baby, that's it's yeah, big. <laughs> yeah. That's a big thing. That is, and um, you know, sometimes they come to me because they're ailing because of an injury they've sustained in a car accident mm. or things like that. Sometimes it's because they've suddenly realized that their family of origin is totally dysfunctional and they're needing to deal with mm. some of the issues that they're carrying as a result of this. So as I'm working with them, there's a multitude of facets of, of the work that I do. One is just listening, which is 98% of it, listening to what they're saying. So people can be heard. People can be heard. Okay. The other thing is kind of guiding them to, you know, figuring out what their options are so that mm. they can make better choices. For themselves so it's a bit of life. counseling a bit of counseling okay. yes then there's the aspect of energy balancing healing and when I'm doing energy balancing healing it's um, some hands-on most hands-off techniques using energy to move blockages out of the energy system out of the chakras out of the meridians out of the auric layers and then bringing in fresh energy so that oh. they get revitalized and, and um, recharged in their lives and when they experience that, they also then have more clarity as to what kinds of things they need to do for themselves. And, and one thing i got to say too is I've had sessions with Trent before and part of the thing that I think I like about it is the deep relaxation. Yeah. 
there's um, <clears throat> when you lay down and Trent does energy work on you, or and sometimes you drum. He oh, does yeah, sound use healing. Sound. He uses sound, and it puts you into sort of a trance state, kind of, and it, so it allows for deep relaxation. But it happens quickly. Like it's not like it's going to take five hours, you know, to calm down and relax. It seems like with the sound and the energy that he's able to um, work with, that it really puts you into that deep relaxation state very quickly. And I find that that, that really is quite refreshing. It is. And yeah. the reason it works so quickly, especially with the drum, is because the drum reconnects you to the vibrational um, frequency of the earth itself. Okay. And so the as earth, we reconnect yeah. with the earth, our physical bodies start to resonate properly again. So you're like rebooting the physical, mental, yeah, emotional, exactly. the whole system of, exactly. of the body. Okay. Yeah. And then there's the uh, the ceremonies that I do, which have to do with uh, soul retrieval, or um, sometimes there's also things about uh, manifestation of things that they want to create positively in their lives. So when you say soul retrieval, that's kind of an odd term. Like, what not my soul just in me? Like, how? why would my soul need to be retrieved? What... In shamanic teaching, we learned that there's a difference, first off, between the spirit energy and the soul energy. Okay. The spirit energy is our eternal connection to the creative force of the universe. The soul energy is evolving to become spirit energy. And when we have soul energy in our bodies, the temples in which our souls reside and through which our spirits express themselves, we have more than one soul. We have multitudes of soul energies. Oh. And so, Wait a minute, say that again. The soul resides in the temple yes. of the body in this lifetime? Is yes. it specific? Or any other lifetime. Oh, okay. Yeah. And as we, as we become more soul conscious, we become aware that there are moments in our lives during, say, arguments or uh, injuries in car accidents, things like that. Traumas. Where, traumas that we have where our soul energy actually gets bumped out of our body. And sometimes, 98% okay. of the time, it bumps back in. Okay. But sometimes it gets anchored. Sometimes it gets earthbound. Sometimes it gets lost or attached to someone else. And then we have this loss inside, this this mm. um, emptiness that we feel. And some people do have that. And I felt that myself before, yeah. this emptiness inside. That yeah. we feel, I guess, with shopping or eating or exactly. alcohol or drugs or, you know, how it can go like that. Maybe that's exactly. where that comes from. And then the more we abuse the temple, the less our soul actually wants to be there. And so oh. it takes off. Oh, <laughs> it so it doesn't even want to come off. back. That's right. So part of the healing is preparing the body through the energy work and through counseling to realign the body as a temple and to then, sweep out the temple yes clear to it give it a good house cleaning and then part of the the journey is also finding where those soul energies are bringing them through the light back to the person i always oh. take them through the light instead of straight back into the person because you don't want the soul energy to return traumatized so you're kind of healing you're that healing soul it through energy the light before and bringing you... it back okay. yes yes and that way a person becomes more whole more complete and uh, as they they uh, heal they prepare for even more souls to you know come back to them as need be so just a little practical question here like um, how long does, is that going to take does that can you do that in one session with somebody or does that take multiple sessions or does it depend on the person's ability to respond to this treatment this type of work it Part of it depends upon the person's readiness. Um, anyone can respond to this kind of work. It's a matter of how ready they really are for this work because it can be pretty intense at times. And I don't like to bring soul energies to a temple that's all cluttered. So we have to do the pre-work first. And then once the pre-work is done, the actual bringing home of the soul energies, because as I'm working with the person's energy system doing the pre-work, I'm also retrieving their soul energies into the light so they can heal and purify. Okay, I see. And then once the temple is ready, then it's just open the doors and let's bring them in, be it through energy work or be it through ceremonial work. Well, this has been great, Trent. Um, let, let's do another video and talk more about this. Sure. Okay, hang in there, guys.